So let's first take a closer look at what the purchasing process actually is. In doing this, we must ask, what is it? Do we all go through this process? Is the professional purchasing process different from the main procurement activities in a company? There are three main elements of the purchasing process. Customer, supplier, material or non-material product, such as service. The relationship between the customer, the supplier and ourselves is the key to the purchasing process. But when is it strictly a procurement activity? In fact, the purchasing process starts with setting a goal. Here, key performance indicators, KPIs, are dedicated to this process. If the goal is continuous provision of raw materials for the manufacturing process, then the way of proceeding in the purchasing process and the tasks of the procurement buyer will be completely different than when the goals are as follows. A 2% reduction in purchasing costs compared to purchases from the previous period for the same volume. Or 10% reduction in stock levels, 50% reduction in the number of quality complaints from suppliers. In such cases, the buyer will have to focus on establishing a wider panel of suppliers, undergo a greater set of negotiations and a firmer selection of suppliers so as to ensure a stable quality level confirmed by certificates, undertake greater effort in assessing the performance and financial stability of suppliers, as well as to visit them constantly so as to learn about their strengths and weaknesses. In other words, the objectives will form a completely different set of actions and will structure the purchasing process differently. Let's move on to discussing the stages of the purchasing process. The purchasing process can be divided into several stages, such as 1. Preparing data and information on the subject matter of the quotation. 2. Selecting suppliers or a panel of suppliers so as to request quotation. 3. Analyzing the content-related, technical or commercial aspect of the supplier's quotations. 4. Selecting a supplier and signing an agreement or a contract. Of course, depending on the industry or product or service, the purchasing processes can be more or less extensive. Imagine that you are organizing a party for 20 friends and have a limited budget of 200 euros for drinks and alcohol. Here, the success of the party depends on what information you have about the products to be ordered. In other words, what types of alcohol do your guests prefer, what suppliers you choose, will they be drawn from a local outlet or a big wholesale store? The satisfaction of the guests who participate in the party will depend on these decisions. Probably, those whose preferences for alcohol are met will be more satisfied than those whose expectations are not fulfilled by buying more alcohol but of poorer quality. The first very important stage of the purchasing process is to prepare data accurately describing the subject matter, product or service of this process. It sounds like a cliche, but we need to be precise about what we want to buy so that the supplier can deliver exactly what we expect. For instance, if you enter 1000 liters of mineral water on your purchase order under the description of the ordered goods, and then after the delivery, you lodge a complaint because the water was delivered in 300 milliliter bottles instead of one and a half liters, is sparkling and was supposed to be still, and is delivered in 20 plastic crates instead of a shrink wrap packs of six, with regard to placing such an order, was our action professional? Did the supplier know exactly what our expectations were? The precise preparation of data concerning the subject matter of our purchasing process may affect receiving a quotation containing all costs of the supplier, avoiding unexpected additional costs during the analysis of quotations, and precisely selecting a panel of suppliers able to produce a product that meets our requirements. We must also remember to transfer our customers' requirements to our suppliers. For instance, if we are a cake manufacturer in a well-known restaurant and it has specific requirements with regard to the elements of decoration, we must make sure that the suppliers of these elements also know about these requirements. Otherwise, it is a huge problem that will lead to non-acceptance of our products by the customer and a number of problems related to this. How to prepare the purchasing process data to avoid disappointment after delivery and to ensure customer satisfaction? Firstly, arrange the data. To accomplish this, first divide the types of information into categories. In doing this, you can distinguish between data categories through technical requirements, drawings with dimensions, type of material, weight, 
color, etc. Here you can also use models or patterns and descriptions with technical parameters expressed in numbers, legal requirements, certificates, international standards, industry requirements. An example of the industry standard is IATF for the automotive industry or HATSAP for the food industry. Commercial requirements, deposits, discounts and rebates. In the automotive industry, for example, it is standard practice to reduce the price of a component supplied every year. Quality requirements. They are a very important part of the data and have a big influence on the supplier's quotation, in particular on its price and lead time. Time requirements, that is, determination of the response time to a request for quotation or the time of delivery of samples, prototypes, determination of the start date of production or providing services. Logistical requirements, determining the place of delivery or providing service, type of packaging, form of transport, for example, do we prefer air, road or rail transport, and its organisation, is the customer or supplier responsible for this. Formal requirements, the documentation accompanying the whole process, templates and sample documents.